Let's have a big free to lay welcome for the governor, huh? Come on, let's go. <laughs> Well, good afternoon, everybody. For those of you I don't know, I'm Al Carey. I'm the leader of Frito-Lay North America, and I want to welcome everyone to our Modesto facility, and thank you very much for the great turnout for being here today. We're honored to have the governor with us. We're also honored to have James Boyd, who's the vice chairman of uh, the California Energy Commission, right over here. We also have our good friend, the Modesto mayor, Jim Ridenour. Jim, thank you for being here. And our partners in this project, which are the American Energy Assets and Abengoa Solar. So thank you guys for being here to be part of this project. Now, I just wanted to say a few words about uh, Frito-Lay and PepsiCo. We think that uh, sustainability and uh, green environment is one of the most important projects in our entire organization. In fact, at PepsiCo and at Frito-Lay, both Frito-Lay is a division of PepsiCo, it's one of our top three initiatives in the entire corporation worldwide. And we think it's that way for three reasons. First of all, we think it's good for the environment. Second, we think that it actually will help us with the increasing cost of energy going forward. And finally, the young people of our organization have absolutely convinced me that this is a thing that will probably make consumers interested in supporting our company and our brands. So we are vigorous, vigorously going forward with our sustainability initiative, and I just wanted to tell you about a couple of the things that we're doing. First of all, since 2000, uh, 2001, we used 7.5 billion gallons of water to process our products. And this year we finished up with 4.5 billion gallons. So we took out 3 billion gallons of water across the U.S. at Frito-Lay. We have been working with the EPA climate leaders in tracking every one of our 34 plants on how we're doing. Since 2000, we've decreased electricity by 21 percent, water by 35 percent, and fuels by 24 percent. We have, we have five distribution centers, large distribution centers in the state of California that are now using photovoltaic cells. And then this project is the one I'm most proud of, which is the Modesto Solar Project. Now behind me, you can see the solar panels. There are five acres of solar concentrators, 54,000 square feet of concave mirrors, 192 solar concentrators, and they superheat the water. So will everybody just look at that pipe that runs through there? It will superheat the water to over 500 degrees, and then we use the steam from that to cook the oil to make sun chips. So it... <laughs> It's a, it's a significant reduction in natural gas for our plant, making a big difference in the environment. It's one of the largest solar pa uh, panel fields in North America, and it is reducing CO2 by 2 million pounds annually. So I think that's a significant improvement. I'll tell you one other thing. We have another project we're very proud of. In the state of Arizona, we've begun work on our net zero plant, which means we will recycle 90% of the water, we will get off the electricity grid through solar panels, and we'll use methane gas from a landfill to allow us to get off natural gas. So we'll have almost a net zero plant in the state of Arizona. So we're very proud of the work we're doing, but we think it's, we have a long way to go. And I would just tell you, for those of you who are like me, who aren't engineering experts, the way I think about Frito-Lay and PepsiCo's initiative on sustainability is those of you who have been in the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts, or you have kids in the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts. You ever hear them say, leave no trace when they go to a camp? That's what we want to do in our company, is leave no trace. So we don't leave a trace in the environment when we build a plant and we produce our products. So I just want to, first of all, thank all of the people at Frito-Lay. You know, these ideas didn't come out of our senior executives. They came out of the men and women that work in this company. And I'm very proud. The people you see here are part of our green team at our Modesto facility. And we are so proud of them because they're the ones that put this all together and made it happen. And here on Earth Day, we pushed them a little bit to say, can we make it happen by Earth Day? And they sure did it. So congratulations to the team here. And I want to also thank the great partnership in California. They are progressive leaders who have been visionary. And I would particularly like to thank James Boyd of the CEC. Now, when we put this idea together, 
Uh, we needed some help, otherwise this entire initiative would not have the economic payback that we needed it to. We got help from the state of California, and I really appreciate the visionary approach, and it allowed us to make this a reality. And I hope that at some point in the future, not only do we move forward on these things, but other companies look at this and say maybe we ought to get in the game as well. So thank you, James, and to the CEC. I really appreciate it. Thank you to AEA and Agangoa and uh, Mayor Ridenour for being a great friend for many years while we've had the plant here. And, of course, to our biggest partner, uh, Governor Schwarzenegger. And let's have a big round of applause as he takes the stage. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, Al, for your nice introduction. And it's wonderful to be here today. I also want to thank uh, Mayor Ridenour for being here today and for having us. He is a great leader. Thank you very much. And also, James Boyd, I want to thank you also uh, again for your great work um, and for making this all happen. Now, this is uh, Earth Day. You all know that, right? Yes. Well, because I thought you were a little confused because you, <laughs> because you, have, you don't have green shirts on. You see what I'm saying? I pulled out of my closet a green tie <laughs> to make sure that you that you can see that we're celebrating Earth Day. Because Earth Day is actually a very, very special day. We are not only celebrating Earth Day here in California and in the United States, but I checked out last night before I went to bed and how many countries around the world are celebrating Earth Day. It's 185 countries around the world that are celebrating that day. And that's very special because that means that each one of those countries, the media, the schools, the grown-ups, environmentalists, they all put the spotlight on that issue for people to be aware, to help us fight global warming, climate change, and to clean our environment, to keep our water clean, our air clean, to do recycling and all of those kind of things. So the spotlight is being put on those issues. And I think this will motivate a lot of more people to get involved with this and to help us with the environment. And it gives us also a great opportunity to, for instance, shine the spotlight on great achievements that are made here in California. And I think this is a perfect example right here. This is why I wanted to come to Modesto to uh, bring Frito-Lay's exciting new solar project online. And this is a great celebration here, and I think that you guys can be really proud of this. And earlier today I want to tell you that we announced also the first ever California natural landmark at Irvine Ranch. You see, I'm cruising up and down the state celebrating <laughs> environmental projects and all of those things. So just let the people know that California is out there and we're number one. And this is wonderful news, I think, for California and for all of us. Uh, Frito-Lay and the California Energy Commission has worked together here hand in hand to build this innovative project. And it just shows to you what can be accomplished when individuals uh, with uh, passion and with the will and the, the visionaries, what they can accomplish. This is a perfect example of that. And instead of burning natural gas, the plant will harness the power of the Central Valley sunshine. And it will reduce the plant's greenhouse gas emissions, which is exactly, of course, what we're looking for on the AB32, which was our commitment to roll back our greenhouse gases. And it's a landmark global uh, legislation. And it's the latest step in Frito-Lay's work to reduce the water, fossil fuel, and electricity used by the plant. So this is really great, great news all around. And it's exactly why Earth Day is a very, very special day here in California. Our level of commitment to preservation and innovation is, of course, unmatched by anyone. Just to show to you the things that were accomplished since I've come into office. Now, four years ago when I ran for governor, people didn't believe that you could protect the environment and protect the economy at the same time. But look what we have done. Since then, 25 million acres of the Sierra Nevada Conservancy we put aside for future generations. The Ocean Action Plan we passed. We passed the Marine Life Protection Act, the Million Solar Roof Initiative, the Green Building Initiative to make government buildings more energy efficient by the year 2015. We have created a partnership with our states and nations on fighting global warming. And, of course, we passed the law to cut greenhouse gas emissions, which is what I talked about earlier to roll back our greenhouse gas emissions to the 1990 level by the year 2020, and then an additional 80% by the year 2050. So we are way out in front of everyone else. When we did that, no other state did that. Now we are forming partnerships with other states. But by the very nature 
Earth Day is not just about what have we accomplished, but what will we accomplish. It's also about the future. And big things are going to happen that will really be bright for the future of California and our country. On Friday, for instance, this last Friday, I spoke at the Governor's Conference on Climate Change at Yale University. This event was inspired by the 100th anniversary of a historic meeting called by uh, President Teddy Roosevelt and uh, that gave actually birth to the modern conservation movement. And the president was alarmed then already at the country's rapid and reckless uh, depletion of natural resources. So he summoned a group of governors to the White House. The meeting also led to the creation of our national parks system. And at Yale, I joined 17 other states uh, to sign a declaration calling on the next president and the next Congress to make sure that they put climate change as their top priority. And it's not just, of course, the states that are creating the action. There's all kinds of other action that is being created right now all over America. More than 700 U.S. mayors have joined together in a climate project uh, agreement. And 32 of the largest, most influential and powerful American companies and environmental groups have uh, formed an alliance to call for greenhouse gas reductions. Oil companies are pouring billions of dollars into a renewable energy. And a big boost, of course, is going to come after the election, no matter whether it's McCain, Obama, or Clinton, because all of them are good when it comes to the environment. The environmental movement is sweeping the nation from Main Street to Wall Street, and I know very sure it's going to arrive there on Pennsylvania Avenue. So I'm very excited about that our work is paying off, and I'm confident that our momentum will grow even stronger and uh, as uh, every day passes because we are totally committed to our environment. So I want to say thank you for the great work that you are doing as a company to contribute to all this. I didn't really hear when you said that you have plants in Arizona. I didn't hear that. Um, you only have them in California, and from here you distribute all over the world. I know that. So anyways, I want to say thank you very much for your great contributions that you're making. Thank you. And now I would like to bring out James Boyd, who was really so helpful in making all of this happen. Please welcome James Boyd. Thank you, Governor, and thank you, uh, everybody. As a Vice Chairman of the Commission and as a member of our Research and Development Committee, and frankly, as an individual who's worked uh, long and hard on climate change and air quality program many, many years, I've been in government 40 years now, um, I'm really pleased to participate in this event today. And with, with, with Frito-Lay, a company that has been so progressive, but with this Governor, who has been tireless, in his efforts to address renewable energy, air quality, climate change, and just environmental protection. Um, his office talked me into staying another five years as energy commissioner. Otherwise, I was going to retire. I'm, I'm old. Uh, but old people can think progressively, too. I heard that earlier message. So. The use of uh, solar energy as a form of um, indigenous renewable heat as well as electricity underscores the governor's commitment to uh, meeting our state's greenhouse gas reduction he talked about how progressive he's been with his signing of the Global Warming Solutions Act. He set the aggressive goals that he referenced. So the inauguration of this plant, free to lay here in Modesto, represents a very important contribution to achieving California's renewable energy goals as well as addressing a host of other environmental issues. The solar-based industrial production at free to lay demonstrates uh, th that innovative, high-temperature solar technology can be successfully integrated into an industrial operation that values reliability and product quality. The industrial scale use of this technology at Frito-Lay is indeed the first of its kind and I certainly hope not the last. The Energy Commission is actively developing new technologies that reduce our dependence on fossil fuel as the governor has directed and increases energy efficiency which frankly is job one in California for energy. So partnerships with industrial energy users like Frito-Lay are an integral part of the Commission's and the state's efforts to take promising technology to the marketplace. Our partnership with Frito-Lay to help fund and showcase this solar technology is all the more valuable since Frito-Lay has been a uh, demonstration leader in environmental stewardship, as you heard Mr. Carey reference earlier. Overcoming the twin problems of mitigating steep fuel price increases and mitigating air quality and global warming will require innovative technology options. 
In our view, both the public and private sectors should share the responsibility to develop and to integrate innovative technology options. And so this solar project is an example of successful public-private partnership to provide new technology for industry and industrial energy users. We believe that the California Central Valley is one of the best locations to showcase this solar technology. This valley has severe air quality challenges, a situation which becomes even worse during the hot summer months. Using the sun to reduce the burning of natural gas, therefore to limit pollutant emissions, is a natural solution for cleaning the air in Modesto and to com contribute to just improving the quality of life and the air in the Central Valley. We expect solar to now become a cost-effective technology of choice by many industries for meeting the governor's and the state's renewable energy and climate change goals. This plant alone will reduce over 1,100 tons of carbon dioxide annually. There are about 1,600 boilers located throughout this Central Valley. If most, if not all, or all of these industrial plants were to follow your example, Frito-Lay's lead, this technology could have a substantial impact on improving air quality, reducing greenhouse gases, and reducing natural gas dependence. This project proves that technology innovation can occur not only in the Silicon Valley, but here in the Central Valley. It is my hope that the Frito-Lay Solar Project is the first of many innovations and innovative renewable energy projects in this resource-rich area of California. And I happen to be a fourth-generation native of the Central Valley, and I'm very proud of what you folks are doing. So congratulations to the staff of the Energy Commission, some sitting in the audience who work so hard, and thank you and congratulations to Frito-Lay and to your sonships, and thank you eternally to this governor who has shown so much leadership in this area. Thank you very much. And it's uh, my pleasure now to introduce Mayor Reidenauer of Modesto. Well, good morning, and I want to thank Frito-Lay for doing their part to go green with their appropriate name, Sunship. And I also want to congratulate the green team that I met some of you today. It's really great to have you all here and all the work you've done. Frito-Lay is a key part of the Modesto community, not only in their economic contribution, but also in their efforts to reduce impact on the environment. They are blazing a trail of innovative ways to harness the power of the sun, and our model organization for environmental responsibility in the solar energy. Frito-Lay has recognized solar energy potentials as both a power source and a better, bettering the plant, and they have embraced solar energy as a creative and effective way to produce the market. And again, I want to thank Frito-Lay. They're a great partner to have in the city of Modesto, and we appreciate the governor for being here today again. But thank you all very much for uh, all the work you've done, and thank you. Thank you, Mayor. And now what we'd like to do is ask the governor to join us over here, and he'll be the first one to throw the switch on the solar concentrators. Let's hear it for all of our guests. Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor.